G'day everyone, thanks for clicking on another Get Up Adventures video. In this one, we're going over another super simple rig. So this one is another one for catching carp in the Murray River. The only difference with this is we're going to have ourselves a running sinker. So this allows, when we cast out, our sinker hits the bottom and that just allows our bait to drift naturally in the current. So a really good one if we're sitting on a sandbar or somewhere we know there's minimal snags. And let's get this one tied up. So what we need for tying this rig is a bean sinker or a ball sinker. So a ball sinker we can use when the current isn't as strong. Whereas if the current's a bit stronger, a bean sinker lets it sit on the flat spot and it doesn't roll around as much. Other than that, we need a barrel swivel. So this is to, just a swivel without the snap on the end. And then our trusty number one sized beaked hook. So I always start with tying my hook just onto a piece of leader line. We do this with a four turn blood knot. Now I'll go over this knot in a lot more detail in my other video of the basic rig for catching carp in the Murray River. So have a look at that one to slow that knot down. Other than that, we go along 30 centimeters and we snip that off. We then get our barrel swivel and we just tie the end of the hook onto that with another four turn blood knot. And then we'll trim that tag. So this is something you can tie some of when you're sitting on the couch getting ready for your trip. That's literally just a hook tied onto your swivel or your barrel swivel. And that saves you a couple of knots if and when you get snagged and busted off. So our final step is to put our sinker, that goes onto our main line. And then we get our pre-tied hook and barrel swivel and then we just tie that on with another four turn blood knot. And we tighten that one up there and then trim our tag. Okay, so there we have it. That's all tied up. Um, it's a good idea to run two rods if you can. So get this rig on one rod, get your bait hard down on the bottom. Um, on another rod, you can put a rig that I tied to get your bait up off the bottom a little bit more. That video is called How to Tie a Beginner Carp Rig. Um, so that one just gets our bait off the bottom a bit more. Uh, two rods also allows us to run two baits. So you can put worms on this hook and bread on your, your other rig or your other rod. Um, and corn is another really good bait for carp as well. So mix it up, get your baits in different depths, um, different baits on different hooks, and I'm sure you'll find them soon enough. So get up, get out there, and go catch some carp.